Family and community coming together this evening to mourn, remember, and reflect on the life of Kalea Martindale Jr. He was shot and killed yesterday morning on Oak Street in Little Rock. Our Gary Burton Jr. joins us live from Little Rock Police Headquarters after attending a balloon release in the victim's honor. And Gary, even at this difficult time, the family still had a very important message that they want everyone to hear. That's right, Kevin. The family says that they were told that someone in the area of Oak Street where Kalia Martindale Jr. was shot and killed tried calling 911 after hearing gunshots, but could not get through. They say that's when that neighbor had to go to the 12th Street police station to notify the police. The family is demanding that this 911 issue gets fixed. A sea of red floods Oak Street in Little Rock. We thank you for the life of Brother Kalia Martindale, Lord God. In honor of the blood shed by Kalia Martindale Jr. after he was shot and killed on August 1st. He didn't have any enemies. That's why we, it was so hard for us to believe that somebody would murder him. Little Rock police have arrested and charged three people with capital murder in connection to this shooting. 21-year-old Evelyn Alexander, 24-year-old Eric Davis, and 23-year-old Marquis Smith. I wish they would let us sit down with them if so we could just ask them why. We want to... Uh, Set up a meeting with the prosecutor, Will Jones, tell them they need to be prosecuted as well as the of the law. On top of calling for justice, Reverend Benny Johnson, the founder of the Arkansas Stop the Violence movement, is calling for the city to fix the 911 call center after he says a neighbor's call looking to report the shooting went unanswered. They could have got the paramedics EMT here on time. They could have saved it. I've reached out to the city for comment on the 911 call center and was told they are looking into it. Next to Reverend Johnson are two parents who know what Martindale's mother is feeling all too well. I had three of my sons that be murdered. A feeling that hits any time another is gunned down. I'm so tired of this. I'm so tired of this. I am so tired of this. As the balloons elevate in the sky, together, that's what this grieving father wants to see so he doesn't have to see another person killed. The only way that we're going to defeat this monster in this town is us together. And this homicide is the 34th of the 2023 year in the capital city. Live in Little Rock, I'm Gary Burton Jr., Fox 16 News.